That was <laughs> how it is. Well, thanks for playing, Tony. Uh, we hope to see you again next week. We always love having you at our MSM online events. Yeah, Let's get here at, Erica in here. Yeah, here at MSM Online, fam, we we welcome every Sonic man with open with open arms, whether you're three stalking opponents, running running the timer for thirty minutes, or you're running the sets for thirty minutes. It's all good, bro. We, we, we welcome with big open arms. So we might actually see a Palu did it actually. Yeah, we might actually see a Palu did it. I think the last time we saw these two, I think Gale go up against a certain character was like for a Palu did it. So we'll see. Time will tell who's going to be coming our way. And I don't know about you, but I, I'm shocked that it, it, it wasn't just like this set that we saw against Kids Gaio, but I believe like even Marigo has had a bit of a shocking set as well. Or a shocking end. That's just Tony, man. Comes in here and gives a shocking end. He's like the summer blockbuster, dude. <laughs> Reeling about it, but... I'm glad that you all had fun. That's, that's what I'm happy for. Yeah, I mean, say what you guys want. Uh, that was know, an exciting it. set. Yeah, that was an exciting set. You know... Many people I know, they don't like Sonic, but there are some hype moments to be had with the character. And Tony definitely doesn't disappoint to deliver those moments. Uh, neither does Gale. Even when he, you know, when he goes characters like Sonic, Pit, or Hero. Those two players never disappoint in general. Okay, well, if you were gonna add, if you were gonna tell me that the first set was gonna be Bayo Hero, uh, I would have been very skeptical because most of Mysterica's success has been with the Palutena. Outside of when Mysterica reverse three of Tony. Yeah, this is so uh, interesting. This is just finals. Um... I wonder if Mr. Rekka knows that Gale actually used to be a former Bayonetta main back in Smash 4. I mean, the character is somewhat the same with some changes, obviously, in terms of knockback and kill power. Uh, so we'll see how Gale can handle it. Honestly, him meaning the character back in Smash 4 is going to be a big part of this. This is how he actually got his name. But we'll see. I mean, really good opportunity for him to actually go for um, up tilt there on, on when he saw the fact that, you know, Mr. Rekka went from the cross up with the afterburner kick. 121 to 49. I mean, Gale was a pretty solid lead. The only thing I'm really fearful for Gale here is, the, like, once again, it comes into the fact that, like, Hero has more frame data. Uh, you know, recovery can be difficult unless you get zoom. So we'll see if Mr. Eric can definitely, you know, kind of, like, take advantage of that. But so far, Gale with a pretty sizable lead. Got the huge off throw. As a, as I like to call it, the spirit bomb because Hero does throw his hands up like he was pulling the spirit bomb. That's the, that's the crowd pleaser. That's the yeet. That's the give it up. <laughs> Raise the roof. That's what I see every time he does it. Okay, oh. ABK into a couple of fairs. You see, Gayo continues to to recover high and 
trying to reset on these platforms. Very smart. You can still get caught up with like the, the wish twist and everything, but using zoom, it, that's going to make it very difficult for Bayonetta to use her amazing edge guards. Nice. Waits for the full invincibility there. Good play. Uh, the way that Bayo works, it's just you kind of have to wait out that situation. You don't want to be overzealous. You don't want to do it too early. Uh, if you give it up, you know, you could lose your spot that way. Uh, nice. It calls upon the Thunder there. Still able to survive. Put up the out of shield. Even able to stop the heal slide, too. It's, I think it's Heroes. Up the out of shield is Heroes fastest out of shield option, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, critical hit. That was critical from he up the out of shield into up smash from the critical hit. RNG coming in clutch for Gale. Oh no, caught this man slipping for the charge here. Of course, Gale up two stocks to get some Steric. I feel like this might be a character switch after the uh, Bayonetta, we'll see. 102, I mean, nice. Bayonetta, still like really good tools. I mean, we could see like a corner carry right there. Yep, look at that. Oh. I'm even able to make it back just because we have so many good uh, aerial tools from Bayonetta. He still and... had a directional air dodge too, and he could have pushed for that. But I, I, you know, but still unfortunate. I don't know if we're actually gonna see like a character switch. It's, it's too early to call it. Hysterica is still racking up a good amount of damage onto Gayo. It's still yeah. Hysterica's to win. Okay, don't get hit by Whack. <laughs> Avoid that. And of course, for those of you guys back at home, um, whack, whack is weaker than Flak, but the percents in which you can actually get the KOs are much higher and higher percents. At lower percents, they are very, very low chance. You can still, you know, lose your stock that way. No matter what. That RNG, expecting the high recovery from Hysterica, we saw up smash from Gale, but just misspaced. Okay, jab, one, two, three, putting a little bit of damage onto Hysterica. Okay. Serica revealed her hand, throwing out the the uh, witch time. Yeah, I'm like I mentioned earlier, Gale is actually main a little back in Smash 4, so he's kind of familiar with you know the tricks of the trade that the character has. Forward throw. Forward throw. He's got he's got bounce on, so if he were to try to go for a bullet, bullet time. Yeah. Thing, like, I'm not really expecting bullet times from Hysterica, like, it's a good tool to just slowly rack up damage under your opponent, but at the same time, when you're off stage, get those forward airs, get the nair, back air, those were what I'm expecting from. That was close, that was close. Have you cut the kaboom at a situation where it would have been, a, like, a, a hard tech? That would have been difficult. Yeah, but Mysterica was able to land or grab onto the ledge when the explosion happened, so she's uh, Mysterica safe. Fourth throw, nice. Looking for an opportunity, nice little bit of a heal. Psych up, all right. Now this is literally the danger zone because that was a great run up up tilt. I think that was really good because you saw the empty hops coming up from Mysterica and you said, you know what, I'll, if you're going to stand there and empty hop all day, that's fine. I have no problem. I mean, Bayonetta's typically want to go in the air because most of their, especially their specials, like, force them to. Yeah, you can, after burn your kick in, after burn your kick in for burst damage, um, forward air, forward air chain, combo chain, uh, neutral air, or up air into an uh, after burn your kick. The man just felt it. I'm not gonna lie, he literally healed for like 10%. I said, yeah, this 10% is good enough for me to get an oomph and go for an up tilt, but I think it's it's very much a combination of him having rage, obviously oomph, and Bayo being at a high percent. Yeah, but the Bayo was working. Like, that was... I think that's what the key takeaway from game one is that the Bayonetta was working. Oh, yeah. And there was a certain point, Mysterica was in the lead. And it kind of goes back to like what you said, right? Like Bayo kind of usually likes to be in the air for some of her 
hard to release the burst in. So the comp factored that in with like Gale kind of sensing that. Gale actually like I spent probably a broken record at this point. He's you know, he used to use the character himself, and so he's very well familiar with the character. He kinda of knew when the right more opportunity was for him to go in and make that call out without tilt. Went down throw, I kinda of sensed the fact that like Mr. Erica was gonna GI towards the platform and able to call it out with an smash for some damage. Dude, here we go, some ABKs to Witch Whist. Mind you, a better times, right, Vance? No, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> I may love the Bayonetta games, but I never loved playing against Bayonetta and Smash. I'll give you that. Okay, well, acceleration is on. And now, now we're going to see Ao go real deep. Not going to be able to make it back, though. I think the real move there was to try and fish for Zoom. Yeah, I think that's what he wanted, but unfortunately he couldn't make it. But that was a, that was a highlight, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I mean, that's that's definitely confidence to, to take away. Gay was confident that that was going to work. I think I was confident enough to go against Mysterica, just taunting at the platform and be like, you know, if you want to sit there and look damn dance all day, I can hit you with forward air and you can come to me with 80% deficit. Another up smash, Mysterica on the receiving end of a lot of damage. You ever see a forward throw? Not landing the, uh... Oh, okay, the whack. Close, if he had timed it right, he would have gone on the get-up. Yep, yeah, Mysterica still swinging. She's still looking for her way in. It's Bayonetta. There's the up throw, but with the jump option, Gayo's gonna escape. Nice. Wanted, wanted to immediately good parry to up tilt. Knew he was gonna be able to punish the after burger kick. He's looking for a way to come back on the stage to either get a grab or just a raw, either a tilt or an aerial. Miss grab. He's looking for it here. 79%. Opportunity looking to slowly escape him. Nice. Good stuff from Mysterica. Kind of gets out of there. No grab once again. Gale fishing hard for him. This has pretty much brought it to even stocks. Gale's game plan might have to change a little bit. 117. ABK from ledge is going to put the both center stage. There's the forward air. Yeah, a little too little too late though. 125, he did take a lot of damage for him trying to hit something off of Boom. Oh no, yep. Stuff Falling up air. I mean, when you have a move that has a constant hitbox, you have to abuse it, especially against characters who have really uh, vulnerable recoveries. Yeah. And Heroes is definitely one of them. Nice, gets in a buff, looking for something to come back in here on the stage, kind of trying to burst in with a with a choice option here. Yeah, more uh, bees out of shield. I mean, slowly tacking damage onto uh, to Mysterica, but at the same time, it, I feel like you should be saving that tool for when there's a platform near, because we've seen time and time again, Gale able to up B out of shield, reset on a platform, and then just tack on even more damage, extend, um, extend that situation. Nice. Scale kind of gets the buffs in here with Boom. Looking for another opportunity. That's not going to be enough, but still good damage. 113 with a good call out there from the ledge. 114% on Mysterica, only 11 on Gale. Yeah, here's another buff. Doesn't get in with the forward air, though. Oh, gets Sorry, the neutral double air. Twist, though. Double Witch Twist is going to put a little bit of damage onto Gale. Yeah, he's looking for a little bit of opportunities to kind of get into. I mean, he has to get hits into the generate magic. That's the thing too, and he hasn't been able to get any. Fifty-six percent. Whoa! Yo, that was close. Erica so far out. That was close. Okay, Psycho is up. back. Let's grab. Gale yeah, has to be careful. If you pretty much put himself on a really tough spot last time he went for this play. Yes, I mean, it was this situation that allowed Mysterica to really to really uh, bring back any deficit that, that existed. But yeah, good, carry good. in the up tilt, yes. That will take it. Good call out too, and the way that he was kind of spaced at the ledge too, kind of like, was a really, really good misleading play against Mysterica. Usually some bandits like the burst, like I said, they like to come in here, get in with the afterburner kick, especially from the ledge, because it doesn't expend the, um, I think it does expend the jump, I can't remember correctly, but um, still, good, still good play from Gaia. Able to move up, I think that's 2-0, correct? Me if I'm not mistaken. That's right, 2-0, Gayo. Yeah, Mysterica, one game away from getting third place. 
at MSM Online. And then Gao, one game away from getting second place or first place here at MSM Online. We'll see how he does against Grayson. I keep thinking why that name sounds familiar, but it's the name of Robin. It's Robin's last name, Dick Grayson. Good old Nightwing. Okay, so put the witch away and bring out the goddess. Politana is here. Yep, once again, this is something that um, Three, two, we've already known from Gale. He's used the character himself, so having that knowledge in his mindset, it's going to be good for him in this matchup. Aerial approaches that we're getting from Hysterica. I mean, typically we see uh, either Palutena staying in shield and then trying to, to punish out of shield or short hopping with their approaches, but Hysterica opted to go for the platforms and then falling with Nair. Yep. Calls on upon Thoris Thunder here, kind of stops Hysterica from coming back on the stage. A little percent there too as well. Oh, all the, the Nair train into the back end. Excuse you. You gotta watch yourself there on that opening because it does send you all the way back towards the blast zone here. 82%. Mysterica wants to strike back as soon as possible. Yeah, that, was... that knockback's always crazy. Like, I never understood. It's always because it, it sends you, like, the opposite direction of the, of the whatever tornado you're getting hit by, right? Yeah, it sends you the opposite direction in which Hero faces. And it's always at a. I, I can't remember the degrees off the top of my head. But yeah, it sends you at a really, really weird angle. Crazy. It's, like, it's, it's, a, cor it's, a, it's an up corner angle, basically. Nice on the bang here. Oh, he was feeling himself, man. He has accelerate. He sees, he sees there's a fish out of the water, and he wants to get a shark to catch it. Okay, using the platform cancels the teleport. Uh, Mysterica gonna escape. Oh! Oh! oh. Well, this is yep. I actually thought he was gonna whack for a second. It's not worth it. He hovered it. Respect. He hovered over it. He, 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 yeah, he, he thought about it. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> Up, Smash not gonna work. Uh, no! <laughs> what? That almost killed him! <laughs> I told you! I told you it's stupid! <laughs> it has invincibility and the range is ridiculous. It's oh no, 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 you can't block that. You can't block that. Okay. Yeah. Alright, Mysterica. That was close. Oh, I thought the, I thought I thought I thought Mysterica was gonna lose it. I was like, shoot. Like I saw. The, the power up, and I was like, no, 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 no. I do not want to lose with the <laughs> break right at this point. Wow. He read the wall. He read the wall. He was like, where are you? You're not going anywhere but the same place. Why would you roll towards the boss zone? I think we're going to have to, like, get... Gale off this dashboard smash attack. <laughs> the man again that he's been doing. <laughs>